In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Today's guest on Guess That Price is Nimnim. Nimnim is a longtime Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG creator known for his popular Sealed Only series, as well as co-hosting the Progression series with Simo. He is also also known as an avid high rarity Yu-Gi-Oh card collector and makes high quality vlog videos visiting card shops and playing in tournaments. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to episode 4 of Guess That Price. We have an epic guest today, Gage aka Nim Nim. Gage, how you doing today? Oh, incredible, Ruxin. Couldn't be doing better if you asked me. You let me clock in for another day of hard work? <laughs> this is going to be very <laughs> exciting, bro. I did, and today you have a chance to win up to one thousand dollars for the viewers of my channel so how what are you thinking you're, you're gonna win a hundred a thousand you're gonna go all the way to the lowest of fifty dollars how are you gonna do it never bro like you know i do this for a living too i work at a trading card shop so i'm fully expecting to hit in that a thousand dollar range any card you throw me probably researched it in the last week bro i know what's up i was actually excited to like have you on because i know that you're constantly looking at prices not only for like your work but also like you buy stuff and stuff like that so i'm interested to see like how you do versus like we've had jarvis on we've had pokey rev who like you know they're not really you know Yu-Gi-Oh people and then we have simo on so i, I won't spoil how he did for you yet because you haven't seen the episode but we'll you'll see if you can beat him yeah i watched with jarvis and i love jarvis he's a really cool collector he's got a lot of nice rectangles himself but like even the Looking at him, I'm like, bro, I know all of these things on <laughs> my head, dude. So I'm ready to claim your wallet today, dude. It's going to be quite easy. Top right into it. Question number one. Access Code Talker, Eternity Code, Secret Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. Uh, thought process is I already know this one off the top of my head. Access oh. Code Talker released Eternity Code. I'm like, sure, that's 2019 or something like that. Game breaking card, bro. One of the best Link 4s in the game. On release, this card was 60 bucks, bro. It was affordable. That was a yeah. bargain. And if you kept your copy all throughout time, including up to now, the secret rare copy has been the one that has stood the test of time. What was the peak price for this card? Do you remember? Oh, the peak price of the card was like $120. That's yeah, like before the reprint. Even post reprint. The funny thing about this card is Access Code Talker's only accessible reprint uh, up until the Battle Legends Crystal Beast thing that we have in a couple months was a maximum gold rare. And bro, I don't, what do you think about that rarity? Yeah, it's so I, bad. I think that's the funniest rarity to get a reprint because the original versions just don't go down because nobody wants the gold. So like the gold still was like 40 bucks or 50 mm -hmm. bucks for this thing, wasn't it? Yep. I actually, the funny thing is, is I, I know this for a fact because I sold a copy of maximum gold access code talker yesterday for $40 on TCG. Wow. Okay. So I, yeah, I know that for sure. So the thing about the, the secret rare though, is that it's price has stood the test of time. Like if right. you looked, it had like this inverse effect where it went down when the reprint hit and then it went back up because people realized the other ready was so bad. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing is currently, I don't know the exact price of the secret with the reprint looming, but I still right. know this is going to be my guess. I think it is sitting around an $80 secret rare copy right now. $80. So you want to lock that into your final answer for the access code? I'm just going right away. Let's lock it in. Okay. I like it. I like the confidence. Uh, you pretty much know exactly like all about why this card's still expensive because obviously nobody likes those maximum gold rares. I'm sorry if I'm offending you guys and you guys like them, but most people don't like in, re in reality. So the access code talker, eternity code, he's saying this is a tier one card and uh, you are correct. This is a tier one card i don't know if you know if you hit the tier correctly you get a ten dollar credit so if you're ten dollars off you're gonna ex get it exactly right essentially so the answer for the first question is 74 dollars so oh you my, are very close right on the money bro the only thing that's going to be a problem with me and i'm starting to realize is i think you go by near mint listings of cards okay i do and for my card shop and what i do when i list personally is i list everything unless it's pack fresh as light play so right. i don't get the card back i just ref i don't want to deal with the hassle right exactly yeah there's not normally a large difference between light play and near mint unless you're going to like super collectible stuff yeah uh, but that's where i think it's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult when you start hitting me with that collectible stuff and I got to account for the gap between light play and near mid. There's definitely going to be a gap on those, so we'll see. Yep, but this one, new card, 
I know the deal broke. Take me to the next one. All right, so you are essentially plus $4 right now because you got a $10 credit. You missed it by six. So you're starting off super strong. Let's go to question two. Judgment Dragon Turbo Pack 1 Ultimate Rare Near Mint. Beautiful card, bro. Beautiful card. Very I beautiful. actually own two copies of this myself. I, I picked Ooh. up a, a really good trade to get a place at a Judgment Dragon. I've let go a few of them. The first Turbo Pack Ultimate Rare, uh, Konami had just taken over Turbo Pack incredible release dude turbo pack is some of my favorite because i love yep. the ultimate rarity yeah it looks great so this is my thing where i think i know the price off the top of my head again for even a near mint copy because i did look it up the other day oh i can actually probably just lock it in real quick i think light plays go for around 400 on the average near mints though i know for a fact on tcg player they go for 500 us dollars and i will lock that in right away this is a tier three baby 500 right off the bat you are 100 percent certain 100 percent actually i will take that the the zero dollar credit you give me or the $10 credit you give me, bro. Give it to me. <laughs> okay. All right. So you are very confident with this one. This might be a quick episode because you're just going to know right off the bat. You don't even have to think about it. So second question is indeed a tier three card. So you've officially gotten your credit. Here's where the variance comes in. Sometimes even if you've looked it up recently, you know, you've looked it up on the price guide or whatever, but you didn't go right in to see the lowest listing. That's how I always go off of it. So what the lowest listing was, you said $500. Yes. The lowest near mint listing for judgment drive dragon is my verified seller by the way four hundred and fifty dollars oh you know what that's honestly way close that's like what 10 per 10 you're less than 10 percent like away you're only 40 dollars off with the credit out of 450 so you're actually still doing really well it's actually not a bad guess at all especially since it was right off the top of your head and these tier threes if you get them kind of close you can like really make up for it with the other ones because these are the hardest ones if you don't know them because they're such a big range so pretty good guess you're looking good so far i'm feeling good bro take me to question three dude have yet to touch those lifelines question three not even not even thinking about a lifeline yet so all right, let's go to number three. Dino Wrestler Pankratops Collector Rare Ancient Guardians First Edition Near Mint. Iconic card, bro. Especially now, dude, you have the, the Kashri Ta Fenrir. Uh, yes. contesting Pankratops' top dog for the going second. I yep. remember this one distinctly because I believe I purchased a copy off of you, my friend. I traded you, actually. We traded for your video. Yes. So yeah, yes. I traded you this one. What did I trade you? I traded you a Summon Skull from... Yeah, Retro Pack Retro one. Pack. Yeah, yeah I still Retro have Pack. It. At the time, I think that was a great trade. I still think it's a great trade to this day because I, yeah. I play this Pankratops in every deck, bro. You don't understand. I love this thing. So <laughs> Pankratops has been won from Ancient Guardians that has aged tremendously well. Ancient Guardians, uh, as for collector <laughs> rares, the threshold is like what? You have like Traden and then Pank and then everything else, all of the archetypes, Ogdoatic. Don't they have the Skullmeister as well? Oh, Skullmeister is also yeah, Ancient Guardians. Pretty decent. That is, that's a good call too. That's a good one too. But all the archetypal ones, you know, like you have yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like the Sulfa Cord, you have Ogdoatic and then yeah. whatever the last one was. Nobody plays those, dude. They're so bad. Yeah, Ancient so, Guardians has not aged well in general. It's yeah, Besides yeah. a couple of cards, it's not very expensive. I think I know this one off the top of my head too. I believe it's gone up recently. Uh, I think the price of Pankratops... It's going to be in the tier two range, which is a hundred plus, I believe you told me. Right. But it's going to be on the lower end. I'm going to guess 125 US dollars. That sounds about right to me. $125 right off the rip. This man, I traded it once, so I expect you to know this one. He just knows. He just knows. So we're on question three. He has nailed it again. Tier two. We're going to be giving away some money today. If you're in the chat, make sure, or not the chat. <laughs> if you're in the comments, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and enter that giveaway because this might be a big one. Dino Wrestler Panker tops collector rare ancient guardians first edition near mint gauge said 125 dollars the correct answer is 130 dollars i'm just on the so money today bro. Has like been nailed. so you officially good. gone over the correct answer twice with the bonus so you're like insane right now so we're looking real good the very funny thing i wanted to say 130 i'm not even kidding you but like <laughs> you got me with the last one being in the middle like 450 so i was like right. ah, i'll give it a little wee way it doesn't yeah. matter though i'm happy with that perfect answer oh uh, that's pretty good that's pretty good so you're looking really good so far through a third of the questions you still have all your lifelines you still have one to throw out technically the judgment dragon is being thrown out of 50 dollars off so i don't like, even feel bad about that one that was a good like answer positive for me too. by ten dollars <laughs> right now so this is insane all right question four maybe this is the one that will stump you because we're gonna have to stump you or i'm gonna be broke so here we go chaos sorcerer turbo pack ultra near mint and i know you love chaos because we've watched Prague. 
I know you love chaos. I do, man. I do love to banish a light in the dark, bro. It's my specialty. <laughs> yes. Turbo Pack 2, bro. Man, again, like, just coming out with Turbo Pack. Chaos Sork, another banger, dude. This is the highest rarity Chaos Sork currently to date is the Turbo Pack version. Uh, I never did research the near mint price of Chaos Sork. I've yet Ooh. to actually hit that time where I need something. So this one, it might, might use be a, a lifeline here, huh? I don't think I'll use a lifeline because I know for a fact, right, from the price that I had before, this is definitely going to be a tier three card, I think. It's going to be up above that 250 range not by much i don't think you but are I think on it's a, a massively good streak you have three lifelines and you're saying you don't want to use one maybe i should right this is the one that's going to stump me i got uh, man not even a, a phone a friend wouldn't help too bro i am that friend <laughs> <laughs> you're i know the friend, so phone a friend wouldn't really help you <laughs> All right, so I can tell you can tell me what tier it in. You can tell me if it's higher or lower. Um, higher or lower. The thing about that one is it essentially also tells me what tier it's in. So I might. Yeah, it, you can one. you can narrow it down to one either A tier or two other tiers. You can't necessarily grab the tier, but it can in this one if you're pretty sure it's between two or three or one or two. I'd like you to tell me what tier it in. Was I right about it being a tier three card? Because if it's a tier three card, I think I can nail the price pretty easily. Okay, you have invoked your first lifeline. First one, question four. I think this was a good decision to use a lifeline because you were saying, I th I'm pretty sure this is a tier three. This is not in a tier three. This okay. is a tier two card. Okay, interesting. So I, I know my copy that I recently got rid of, not even recently, a couple months ago, I got rid of a heavily played for 150 bucks, which I think was a okay. killer deal for an English. Yeah. Um, you're saying it's below 250 for a near mint. I might have to it pick is. up some chaos sorts. It is. <laughs> I might have to. This is um, one that I've noticed go down a little bit. Okay, well, that helps me a lot because I would have been way off if I would have guessed a tier right, three price. Right. But I, I'm going to believe it's still on the upper echelon of a tier three for a near mint. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to guess 225 US dollars for a Turbo Pack 2 Chaos Sorcerer near me. All right, so you used your first lifeline. It saved you from being way off. And I think it was a great decision because question number four was indeed in tier two. You get the bonus because you use your lifeline. You know it's in tier two. Turbo Pack Ultra near mint. The verified low was $201. Oh, okay. I was... 25 off, but still, it's it's at. I was gonna guess 200 too, bro. Uh, that didn't sound right though. All right, cool. God, yeah, I'm, I'm you okay were essentially with that only 14 off, so you're still very, very close here. Yeah, if you had guessed 200, that would have been a great guess. Yeah, yeah, that's all right though. You know what? I, I, I'll take it again still. I'm, I'm banging, bro. I always round these to the nearest dollar. I think the exact price was like $20.78 or something like that. So okay. 200 <laughs> would have been insanely like close. Dang, for a near mint copy, too. That seems like a really good price for Chaos Sword, bro. I know, it honestly does. I don't know if it's because of like like other prints of Chaos Sork or something, or maybe it's just like goat format is kind of slowing down a little bit because of Edison getting popular. I don't know that's if that's true. why, but I had noticed that the Chaos Sorks used to be 300, 350, and now they're all the way down to 200. I was like, it's kind of a good price, you know? Yeah, it seems like a bargain. Like uh, the thing is though, I could totally see this card getting a collector rare in the future, 100%. That, exactly, so being an ultra is a little precarious because like, sure, it'll always be that like champion pack type version. It's, I mean, though it's turbo, but it's like that older version and like, the not so high a rarity, but then once they get like a, you know, a Starlight Collector or a Ghost Rare, it's like, that's another option that people will pick. So it'll definitely hurt the price when that happens. I'm okay with that answer, dude, though. I was close enough. I'll take it. All right, let's move on to question number five, the halfway point of the quiz. Let's see if you can continue to be insane. The next question is, Red Eyes Black Dragon Ghost Rare from Ghost from the Past 2 First Edition Near Mint. Wow, dude, what a set, bro. Ghost from the Past 2. This set has not aged well at all man <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot of people bought this set a lot of people oh yeah a lot of people bought this set. i remember the first ghost from the past came out and i was already upset that the ghost rares got reprinted but just doubling the quantity that you would get in ghost from the past to eradicated the market i know for a fact this is a tier one card i don't even gotta guess at that bro uh it's just how low is this red eyes black dragon because i know some of these ghost rares from gftp2 are sickeningly low like you're right. like i could pick this up for 20 bucks or something like that I do have a really educated guess for the Red Eyes Black Dragon because I think I sold one recently. Again, bro, working at a card shop, it has its merits. Yeah, that's definitely helpful. I definitely think this Red Eyes Black Dragon, I gotta go for the middle grounds again too. I think it's it's between these two. It's between 45 to $50 US. Final answer. Oh, wait, no, hold on. No, actually, 
I gotta think for a minute, because I gotta think this is another one of those wild ones where Ghost from the Past, in general, has had printing errors. Atrocious right. printing errors. Like, yeah. the back of these cards, Ghost Rares, are sometimes so waxy, they're bad. Yeah, they're gross. So, listing a true near-mint copy puts a lot of weight on the seller to, like, if, if somebody has to receive it, it has right. to be up to their standards. So, yeah. I think most people list these Ghost Rares as light play. Oh, man, that makes it a little more difficult. I don't hey, need a light You do have a higher or lower option. You could even get a new question if you want. I don't think I need a new question. Okay. I'm pretty confident right. in my answer here, but, like, uh, it's just the thing is that's going to get me. It's going to be that NM, bro, the near mint. Yeah. But I do, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go the middle. We'll go, actually, I'll guess $50 US for Red Eyes Black Dragon. Okay. So you're locking in at 50 and you're a little nervous based on the near mint designation because, you know, a lot of these times these come out and they're kind of like iffy. It's like the borderline near mint might be light play. So if you're a TCG seller, a lot of the times if it's borderline, you just want to put it one lower because the issue of having someone hit you up and be like, hey, this card is not in the condition I stated and then have to return it or just refund them it's just not worth it most of the time and we could kind of relate with that so usually if you're a kind someone that sells a lot you just default to light play so but the thing is some people just post it as near mint so that might not actually matter at all so we'll have to see question five is indeed a tier one card so you're gonna get the bonus i think you've hit it every time so far you said fifty dollars it goes for seventy three dollars oh Oh, that's a lot more than I thought it was, dude. Ain't nobody playing Red Eyes Black Dragon. And it's not all about playability, Gage. People collect cards. That's true. Red I did not Black expect Dragon. that one. I knew it was a tier one. Like I said, I ain't hey, even got to guess Hey, but you're still only $13 right. off. I mean, so it's really not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that one. Like I said, uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, even like I know back in the day with the first ghost from the past, people were listing their dark magicians that they pulled. If they weren't like mint, they were listing them as like even heavily played on TCG player just because they would have to face those refunds if anybody wanted to like send it back. Yeah, do so. you remember the uh, pin dots in the dark magicians? Oh, do there I? There's like a yes, hundred of them on some they of them. They were it on was so every bad. card. Every card, bro. Like I, I finding a PSA 10 dark magician yeah. in like ghost rare is, a, is an anomaly on its own, bro. So yeah, I, I remember the awful printing errors with these sets, man. Okay, Gage. We're halfway through. You are dominating. You haven't had a bad miss yet. We need you to have a bad miss so I don't have to spend $1,000 on the viewers. I hate you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's keep going. Question number six. We have the Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder Starlight from Phantom Rage First Edition Near Mint. Insanely beautiful card, bro. Insanely yes. powerful card, too, out of Phantom Rage, too. I actually own two copies of this. I'm, I'm thinking I'm, You're I a Starlight just guy. recently. I am a Starlight guy. I love this rarity more than anything, actually. I know Zeus. I talked for the longest time when it came out in Phantom Rage. I'm like, this is a $500 Starlight Rare, and the only reason it's not is because you could buy Phantom Rage on the shelf. Eventually, I think it's ascended to not quite that price. It's a little bit below, but it's definitely hit its stride from where it used to be like 250 bucks when I was picking them up and I was like, this is a bargain. I think the price I sold mine recently for was around like 400 to 450 bucks. I think it's gone up to like 400. Um, I'm pretty, it's a tier three card for sure. I don't have to, yep. again, I ain't got to guess. I'll take my 10 credit right there. But um, I'm going to lock it in real quick. We'll go on to the next one. I think this is, I recently sold mine for 400 US dollars or around there based on percentages. So 400 US, I'll lock it in. $400. That's what you said. You are officially correct on the tier. It is a tier three card. You get your bonus. The lowest price available right now is $442. Ooh, again, man, as I know it's around that range. I'll still yeah. take it though. So I'm like 32 it, off on that It's tough to get right on those tier threes. So just keeping it within like 50 like you're doing and then getting the bonus is actually insane. Like you're doing really, really well. Yeah, man, I, I, get, I think that's gone up recently too from the copy I sold. But, but again, I, it's again, like I said, it is a $500 Starlight Ray. This card is insane. It'll be insane for the future too. Uh, if anybody missed their chance to get it when it was 250, like Hita in the same set too, I, I feel sorry for you, bro. This one, <laughs> hell of a card. All right, Gage, you're do it. still doing well, still got two lifelines. Your worst one is still $50 off, so you're still doing really good. Question number seven. I'm interested to see about this one. I don't know what you're going to say here. Cyber Dragon Dark Revelation Volume 4 Ultra Rare Near Mint. Oh, uh, bro, Dark Revelation. <laughs> I don't know this one, bro. I don't. I got to be honest. I think I'm going to have to call on the lifeline. I think I might have to. Do you the want thing a new about, one or do you want a higher or lower? I'll let you know in a minute. Let me talk about what, I, what, what I'm thinking about Cyber Okay, Dragon. okay. Any of the Dark Revelation sets are so hard to come by, especially four, bro. Like mm -hmm. DR04 is an anomaly. I think it was only released in like this dual pack or something like that. Yep. Where you got like, what, is that what it was? You got like yeah, two packs in like Yeah, you get two packs in it. It's like this weird, it kind of looks like Duelist Saga, but it has two packs in it. 
Yeah, and, it, and I think you got a promo light and darkness dragon or something, which was pretty yeah, you sick. did. Yep. But but yeah, yeah, that's the only place you could get DRO four. Some of the rares of DRO four are like unironically like ninety dollars. Like it's like it's yeah, really it's hard insane. to come by. And some of the commons too, it's like really weird stuff like that. Man, a near mint dark revelation four ultra rare, that's pricey. I guess it was a tier three card, but I'll tell you what. I haven't used my lifelines that much yet, and I am going to take the safe option. Give me a new one. Give me a new I one. I think this is a great decision because you never know. With Dark Revelation, probably the most wacky set in terms of price. Like you, you could, I think the uh, BES Tetran is like ninety dollars. So it's yeah. like, how do you even know that? So I think it's a good decision. Uh, let me. What would you have guessed? I want to know that for. I would probably guess if I just took a number off my head, like three hundred dollars for a Cyber Dragon near mint. Okay, I'm gonna put that on here for later i don't want to tell you what it is because the replacement question is going to be in the same tier so i'll tell okay. you after we finish that one so your replacement question let me grab it real quick brain control ultimate rare the lost millennium first edition near mint oh bro <laughs> oh man that's tough oh, oh man. you don't know this one no i it's it's a thing that i do know it i know what it goes for in light play because i have a copy of brain control first ulti in light play that i picked up and i think i picked it up for a bargain but this is telling me, like, I, with the near mint divide, I think it's like it's either gonna be right at tier three at 250, or it's gonna uh -huh. be below it. If I had to guess, we haven't had too many tier twos. We've had Chaos Orc and Pank. So far, I can tell you, there's been two of each so far. It could very well be again the upper echelon of the tier two. I think that's what it's gonna be. I think it's that surprises me then that Cyber Dragon isn't in tier three level. Yeah, is that what's throwing you off? It's the Cyber Dragon being in the same yeah, tier? Yeah, yeah, because now I'm like, damn, that's that's kind of wild. I would say don't get too distracted by the Cyber Dragon because that could be literally anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Lost Millennium is another one of those sets where it's like, it's hard to get true near mint copies. Like if you find a near mint copy of Ancient Gear Golem, you're balling. Right. But like majority of them, I think are light play out of the pack. I got, I'm gonna guess this is a tier two. This might be my first wrong one. I'm gonna guess this is a tier two on the upper end. I'm gonna go 190 US for the Brain Control Ultimate Rare. Cause I think when I picked up my copy, it was 150 for like a light play and it was a really clean light play. So I'll go 190 US for Brain Con Ulti. All right, locking it in at $190. Do you think it's tier two gauge? I know that Cyber Dragon was tricky, but you nailed it. It's a tier two card. So you are correct about the tier. You have not missed that one. The final answer, I think 150 for your light play. It seems like a pretty good deal. For the near mint, the lowest available is $225. Oh, okay. So it, All right, it, yeah. You were nailing I, it. You were like, it's just at the upper echelon of tier two. I was like, yep, that's right. Yeah, so you, yeah. You're still really close though. You got it. You're only 25 after the credits. So not one of your best ones, but you're doing so well. It's like, you know, it's yeah, still really so good. Can you tell me what the Cyber Dragon is then? And now that's gonna... I can tell you what the Cyber Dragon is. This one is surprising because based on like the fact that some of the rares are 90 bucks and like the Tetran's like almost $100. This is only $130. 100 and... Oh, I would have been way wrong, dude. I would have been like at least like, oh my God. I would have guessed like 250. Like, yeah, at when the you very were talking about it, I was like, yeah, life loss. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Try those. All right. I'm, not, I'm okay with that guess with Brain Con. Like I said, I think I, I think got a good was, deal. You on still my saved yourself. Too, so. <laughs> uh, you would have been $170 off based on your first one. So yes, absolutely. You saved yourself a lot by using that lifeline. That was worth it. All right. Question number eight. We have. This one will be interesting. I, you probably know this because you've probably sold some of these, but it's also a really weird like thing and phenomenon in general. We have the Slifer the Sky Dragon Ultra Pharaoh's Rare King's Court First Edition Near Mint. I, bro, these are, this is a tier one card. <laughs> I know for a fact it's a tier one this card. This is one of the weirdest that, like cards to ever hit the mark. It's just weird. Like this whole situation with these cards is weird. It was riddled with issues, bro. The, the Pharaoh's Rare, it's like they really revved it up in the next set here that's coming out. Right. Uh, if you looked at, have you seen the spoilers for some of them? Like Chris bond and stuff like that yeah 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 Yeah, they've really i think put the rarity in its own thing back in the day though with these cards released the first iteration of their pharaoh's rare it's unrecognizable at points like sometimes you can't even tell it's that special rarity which it is because that's the only rarity it's printed in but right. on top of that they had another thing that they did where they split the pharaoh's rare into ultra and secret <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know a lot why of people they think that. that was like an error. It, it, like the secret looks a lot better. So it's like, I hope that wasn't an error. <laughs> I think the only thing about the secret is the text. It's only got like that secret red text. There's nothing yeah, else it, different. But about that just adds so much. Cause like this, it, is, look, it looks so bland. It's like, there's something popping on the secret rares. Back in the day, it added a significant amount of value. Today, even I think you can still get the secret rare Pharaohs for like, 
dirt cheap, bro. Like yeah. th- those are tier two cards. They're a little bit more expensive, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. but the ultra rare Pharaoh's rare. I don't know the exact price off my head, but I can tell you it's probably around like a thirty dollar card. It's really I, I think Slifer is the most expensive out of King's Court, but again, it's not by much, bro. These Pharaoh rare was such a flop, and King's Court yeah. was just in retrospect not a good set like you had yeah. some good collectors like rivalries the best one that comes out of it lightning a uh, lightning storm's another yeah. good one too but it's just man what a bad set in general though. <laughs> i'm, I'm gonna apart, guess yeah it did i'm gonna guess like um i'm gonna guess the 30 dollars for slifer the sky dragon and ultra pharaohs right all right so we gave him a weird one and he immediately knew he said tier one that's what i'm going for he said around 30 bucks all right so question number eight so far i mean you've probably got like three like really close this is another one. This is indeed a tier one card. The Slifer of the Sky Dragon from King's Court Ultra Pharaoh's Rare goes for $33. I, man, dude, I'm so on it. I know. It's like, it's so sad because I remember when this first came out, these were like $100 Ultra Rares, right? Even yeah, just the Ultras. Yeah. And the Secrets, $300. No, they were 500. Level type stuff. The Secrets yeah. were 500. Bro, it was insane. Baller level type stuff. And then that, yeah, you just... You age forward two years, man, crumbled, <laughs> crumbled. Those died like really quickly. It was kind of sad. It was like, wow, a $500 card. Never mind. It's like 120. It's like not even close. All right, Gage, you are absolutely destroying right now. I don't know if you've seen the first two episodes. So, you know, the last two get asked at the same time. That way you can't like pigeonhole which tier it is and all this stuff. So we're about to ask the last two questions. Don't mess it up because you're on fire right now. Okay, do not mess it up. I'm not going to, of course, but how do I utilize if I want to my last lifeline? Your last lifeline, you can uh, you can pick whichever one you want and then ask me lower or higher. So it can be question nine or question 10. Doesn't matter which one it is. Okay, cool. All right, fire them off. Let's do it. All right, and you, you are free to miss one by a lot at this point because it'll go away. So, but if you don't, then you're throwing out one that wasn't even that bad. So you're gonna have a crazy good score. So let's get into number nine and 10. We'll start off with question number nine, tour guide from the underworld, astral pack six, ultimate rare near mint. And the final question is royal decree, tournament pack four, ultra rare near mint. What do you think about these cards? Oh, I'm already concerned. I thought Ooh. for sure, yeah. So my thing was, I think we've we've gone through all the tier ones, right? Yes, all the tier ones have gone through. Right now we have one, two, three tier twos, one, two, three tier ones, and two tier threes. So you know for a fact one of these is a tier it's three tier card. Three. It's and a decree. For the sure. other one can be any of them because there's a fourth. Mm, I also think that tour guide is also tier three. I think it's up there. Um, I'm gonna have to use my last lifeline on that tour guide, I think for sure. Okay, all right. Roll decree from tournament pack four, dude. That's a that's a hell of a card, man an incredible trap card again highest rarity tournament pack four i remember the one thing i have is i actually have like beckett magazines from back in the day behind me and oh. I, I remember flipping through it just for fun and there's a section in this beckett magazine like the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh cards from it was like what 2008 or something like that is when yeah. the magazine was printed and the <laughs> the first four slots i kid you not were tournament pack one through four ultra. Yeah. <laughs> like it just goes to show like how rare these cards were even back right. then right that's awesome i love those old magazines cuz you could see like the old prices and like what everyone was thinking around that time and stuff like that those are so cool i love flipping like they have like the entire price guide so like you can see how much you could buy a full set of like first ed lob and yeah, it's, it's like, like two hundred dollars and stuff it's <laughs> so cheap you're like damn give me that number let me call it in yeah. <laughs> so i think tournament pack four is the first tournament pack no it's the second because tp1 had european releases tp4 i think reintroduced european releases so um made a royal decree a little bit more accessible as opposed to like morphing jar and needleworm uh, but I still think Royal Decree, it's 100% a tier three card. Like, I don't even have to, like, think about that. The Beckett Magazine coming in clutch. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tur Guide. I prefer the Secret Tur Guides. It's, it's nostalgic for me. But I do right. know uh, the Ultimate Rares have jumped significantly up in price. I think Astral Pack 6 is one of the Astral Packs that is, like, impossible to get your hands on. Now. Uh-huh. Was this the one that also had Max C in it, too, I think? No, that was Astral Pack 4. That okay, one is okay. impossible, like yeah, actually yeah. impossible to G- find. Literally good luck. Yeah, literally yeah. good luck. But uh, I know Tur Guide is actually up there as one of the better ones. I'm going to use my lifeline on this Yep, I think that's a good decision. You, you might as well use it now. Uh, is Tur Guide from the Underworld, my, my, my number's in my head, 300. Uh, is it higher or lower than 300? All right, you're asking if it's a $300 card. You're saying you think these are both tier three cards. This is a big card, a rare set to get it from. Very highly desired just for old formats and like nostalgia and stuff like that. This one is lower than $300. Tur Guide is lower than $300. Oh, boy. I'll lock in my answer for Royal Decree because I, okay. think, I think this one I'm pretty confident in. I'm pretty sure this is like for a near mint $400. It, 
Easy, easy. Uh, yeah, I don't even have to think. That's that's right. 400 for a Royal Decree TP4. Okay. You say Turgot is lower than three. It is indeed lower than 300. Oh my god, damn. That doesn't feel right, even like it feels like it's around there. I'm gonna guess it's probably around 250 range for, for sure. Like I, I refuse to think it's lower than that. Is there any Astral Pack ulties that are that expensive though? There's a lot of them that are have gone up that much. I always say go with your gut, Gage. I, it's been working for me so far. Yeah, but, um, been, it I, has been. I gotta remember, I do have one of these answers to throw out. So I am gonna be, I'll be, I'll be rather timid with it. You know what? I'll go on the lower end. We'll go, I'm gonna guess, I'll guess $215 for the tour guide. And I'll guess 400 US for the Royal Decree. All right, so you're locking in 400 for Royal Decree and 215 for tour guide final answers. Final answer, lock them in. All right, the end, the gauntlet, the double question. All right, how did you do? Did you finish it off strong because you started off insane? Can you possibly get that 1% $1,000 prize? I think at this point, I guess, you know, you could mess it up, actually. I was like, you, could, <laughs> you might be able to mess it up. You mess it's it a real possibility. Right, it's a real possibility. Right, let's just see how you did. Okay, first of all, we will start off with, do you want to start with the Royal Decree or the Tour Guide? Start with the Royal Decree because I was very confident in Royal Decree. Okay, I've got good news and I've got bad news news for you, Gage. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right. What is it? We'll start with the bad news as you asked for. You were confident on the Royal Decree. You said $400. You said it's a super rare card. Super well, it's rare an ultra rare card. Expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Very expensive. And this Royal Decree goes for $595. Yo, the oh, the cream, bro. Oh man, damn, it's got that's a lot, dude. Yeah. Holy shit, <laughs> it's expensive. But the good news is that is gone. You don't have to worry about yeah. that one. There's yeah. more bad oh. news. Now you have one more question and you can't really throw it out. So how confident are you feeling about your tour guide guess? Well, you said that was the bad news, right? So <laughs> like well, the, the good news was that it's thrown out. The bad there's more oh, bad yeah. news now that you don't know what the next one is. <laughs> Though that is bad news. I'm still pretty confident in my tour guide answer. Getting it below 300, I was legitimately about to guess like 350 if you said it was more than that. And I was gonna be confident in that. So yeah. the fact that you said it's below three, I'm like, this could this could be bad. Um, right. I'm shocked with that Royal Decree. I got that way off, but um, I gotta say I'm That's confident in the tour guide. one gets thrown out, you know, it happens. Yeah. I gotta say I'm confident in the tour guide because if I don't say I'm confident, I'm gonna look like I don't know what I'm doing. So okay. I'm, I'm confident. Right. That's You're that's always about confident, Gage. That's what I like about you. All right, so far you've done really well. Even with that Royal Decree gets, you're still doing fine. Honestly, this is still a record for the least, the biggest miss being the lowest, if you know what I'm saying. Like most people miss by $500 on one of them. You have not done that. So tour guide from the underworld, Astro Pack, Ultimate Rare, Near Mint, you guessed $215. At one point you said, 250, but you didn't guess that. Was that right? 250? Almost. It was $240. So you would have been oh! really close if you had said. But either way, you're still only with yeah. the bonus 15 off. So that's still insanely good. I can't be mad at that. Like I said, like I, I had to act confident. I should have guessed the 250. That would have been spot on. Yeah, but, you um, nailed it. I was like, I'll oh, say it. And then you're like, <laughs> 250. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Damn, that's all right, bro. I think I did tremendous though with this, this, this. Uh, yeah, group we got to do game. a little math here and see how you did, but you are almost certainly the highest guest so far. Let's check it out. All right, we have totaled the final numbers. Gage, how are you feeling like you did? I feel like I easily hit the 10%. Like, I, I, I think 10% yeah. is a guaranteed for sure. The 1% is a pipe dream for anybody, bro. I thought I had like potential to hit like in the top 5% with it, yeah. but 1% is near impossible. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I can't even, I can't even do that, bro. But I'm confident I hit in the 10%, I think. Yeah, so far, no one has hit above the, like inside the 10%. So you could be the first one to do that. That's a, a $250 prize. With you get it within five, that's a $500 prize, which Ooh. is much, much bigger than the other episodes because they're only giving away $100. So that's insane. The 1%, I mean, that's like, if you go absolutely in say no mode and we have like a top prize, but it is very difficult. So do you think you have a chance of the 1%? What are you feeling? 0% at the 1%. 0%. <laughs> no right. shot. I think it's, 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 uh, if I'm extremely lucky, I got the 5%, but I'm for sure in that 10%. Well, I wouldn't call it luck. I would say that you have some skill when it comes to, to price knowledge. So we're going to see how you did the total value of all the cards that we asked, like in terms of the, the, con what is the word for that? The, uh, conjoined, market value. The, the price, the, all right, whatever. The total price was $2,593. Okay. You were off by a total of $213. Oh, 
dollars. That's less than 10%. Oh my god, wait, that's what is that? What's the exact percent? It's not over yet because you also got every tier correct, so you were $113 off because we take away a hundred from that. I didn't even think of the bonus. Oh, this is wait, the wait. Bonus. <laughs> so you are officially 4.36% off within the five percent. Oh! The first person to do it, that's a five hundred dollar giveaway. We gotta get a sponsor on this video. Oh, this yes, is sir. Be an expensive one. <laughs> Yo, I am hooking it up bro oh dude i man dude the one thing is all Yu Gi Oh cards like have value and i'm not good at like creating them myself like i'm not a great player i can't make text out of thin air but i think like the one thing i'm good at is i'm good at like realizing what other people will pay for cards right <laughs> i'm happy i could share that knowledge and stuff hey, that's it that's kind of what we both are so it was, i was really excited to have you on because i knew you'd do super well and you absolutely crushed it like getting within four percent is just nuts like that yeah, is so good yeah I, if my job's watching this bro consider giving me a raise bro i know yeah. I'm <laughs> I know what I'm show doing. It to, show, it to your, show it to your boss. He's like, hey, I know these things. You got yeah. to give me a little pay raise here. Dang, Rux, bro, thank you for having me on this, dude. I, I'm surprised I did that great, bro. That This was a lot of fun, too, man. Like, I, this is, like I said, I love this game more than anything, and I love, like, the collectible history and the secondary market with it. So uh, just being able to share my prowess with it is uh, is pretty fun, bro. Gage, thanks so much for being on here. It's been a pleasure. It's been awesome to see you just recite prices for half of these. Like, oh, I know this one right on the nail. So that was really fun, and I'm going to be seeing you soon. I think by the time this comes out, it'll be right after Pasadena, but we're heading to Pasadena soon, so I'll see you there uh, with a bunch of other people. So thanks again for being on. Got anything else to say? No, nothing at all. If you guys like enjoy any of this content, if you want to learn more about like collectibles and like stuff that I talked about a little bit more in depth, uh, I post similar content on my channel where I talk about maybe some like older cards and stuff. So it might be something you're interested in. Uh, and dude, I can't wait to see you in Pasadena, bro. Always a pleasure to see you. Make sure you guys go check out Gage because he has awesome uh, collectible stuff as well as amazing vlogs. I love to watch his vlogs every time they come out. So thanks again, Gage. This has been an awesome episode. The current highest person out of all four by far. You are at the leaderboard. I don't know if anybody will ever beat you, but maybe they will. We'll have to see in the future. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.